<laughs> I was wondering if Josh was still going to yell after us. Now, playing for 41 days? Yeah. 41 days. Elaine was a bitch. North Carolina felt the most of it. 41 days, and then we've been on the Zoom for two hours while you guys leveled and shopped. <laughs> Shopping! We didn't have the option to, like, you know, get in and, and level ourselves up. No. I think when we last played, I had mentioned when I get home from work, I'll turn Foundry on so y'all can do that. But then 41 days passed, and I forgot about that. <laughs> And, and none of us were like, hey, you going to turn that thing on? Yeah, because y'all don't care. We weren't don't care about thinking you. about it. We don't care about this. It's fine. Or is it? Well, you're not telling me I'm wrong. You're just quietly listening to me self-deprecate. <laughs> it's more. It, it makes it less funny and more real when you don't mm-hmm. correct me. Oh, the no. sounds. <laughs> I, I definitely care. I was very the excited sound. to play this oh, so. today. I am too. Uh, we finished the dungeon. You guys are level four. Yeah. 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 And you've got a week of downtime in your your respective homes in the uh, commune of Wolfwood uh, because Stinky died. Uh, it's Billy Billy Frog needs uh, a week to to find a, a quick replacement. In real life, then, how soon do you get a new pet when your other one dies? Immediately. Is it, is it within the week? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm still going on too raw. I can't do another pet. Oh, okay. I'll tell you. Um, Same day. When I moved away day. from the house that I was at, I couldn't bring my cat with me. So I gave the cat back to my mom, who was the original owner of the cat. And I never got another pet since then because I haven't had stable home and then uh he recently uh, recently about a year ago passed away and um bonnie i still have not wanted to get another cat because he's still in my heart the old mm. kenneth he's still mm. here I, I could say i got a cat 15 years ago and i yeah he's still in my heart i don't want another cat <laughs> was was your cat just an asshole yeah, his name was Doodle <laughs> for a reason. So, Doodle, Godspeed, little Doodle. Oh, yeah, he. Yeah, that's a uh, <clears throat> Oakley Doakley song. The Ned Flanders heavy metal band. <laughs> Godspeed, little Doodle. Yep. Okay. I'll Is that really the full name of the song? It's, no, it's just Godspeed, little Doodle. Is the name of the song. But it's, that's what it, I was it, asking. It says, Oh, yeah, doodle. I thought you were saying the Ned Flanders metal. Yeah, no, I think it's got to be Little Doodle. It might just be Little Doodle, Little Doodle, Little Doodle. All right, it's, it's fun to say. It is it, it, mildly entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of mildly entertaining, welcome to Wolves of Wolfwood. Uh, we bring the mile to mildly entertaining. Uh, you know, see the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, well, we did the quick recap already. You finished the dungeon, the, the layer of the Spider Queen. Um, you're taking a week downtime, one to, to replace your beloved animal companion, Stinky, with whatever Max came up with. Kevin and Bacon, the we, Hamlet from the Spamlet. I was gonna do a little build up to it, you know. Oh. Maybe did you, did you write a story about how you discovered your new boar animal companion, Kevin Bacon, the Hamlet from the Spamlet? Sure, I did. We had a month off. Of course, I did. Cool. Lay it, lay it on us. Oh, uh, now? Now? Yeah. <laughs> right now? <laughs> oh, you actually wanted me to read it? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't oh, know if I'm ready to share. And look, I can tell if you're reading or making it up by how fast you talk, so don't be self conscious. Uh, um, well, let me sign my paperwork. Oh, you wrote it down. I was waiting on your screen to get brighter as you oh, yeah. opened up Google Docs. So, uh, so yeah, we had we had a week off, uh-huh. and uh, Billy Frog Thornton went in the woods and yeah, here yeah, uh, found Hamlet, the Spamlet. I thought cool. it was a little pig that um got loose from his hand. <laughs> he was the runt. But yeah, the runt. He little squeakers. <laughs> yeah, so he's got a Hamlet. The Spamlet is uh, he, he found a. 
totally, totally somebody drew this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was AI generated. Yeah, it looks pretty AI generated. I mean, it's a little tiny pig with a with a vest on, and there was fire in the desert behind them. It's just epic. Yeah, it's not not epic. Cool. Yeah. M- much, cool. much like my backstory, he burnt down his his hometown. Was it a so Spamlet's an actual place? Yeah, it was. And his title was the <laughs> Hamlet. He was Kevin Bacon, the Hamlet, and he yeah. happened to be from Spamlet. The last surviving little little piglet from the barbecue of Hamlet. Okay. Yep. All right. And he, you said he he burned it down. Was it arson or was it accidental? We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he doesn't say much. I'm still yeah, traumatized. Yeah. Um, some of the loot from that dungeon was for the uh, what was it? I keep forgetting the name of the ore. It's the uh. uh Abyssium chunk. Abyssium chunk. And Warwick said that he knew people in Lith that could sell it, but y'all had a nice long discussion about what these people would do with the Abyssium chunk because it's uh, normally used to make some quite deadly poisons. And uh, you thought upon further self-reflection that maybe selling it to (laughs) a more reputable apothecary somewhere would be in your better interest. So you also spend this week while... Billy Frog's looking for Spamlet from Hamlet. Hamlet from Spam... The Hamlet from Spamlet. I got it backwards. I'm sorry. It will happen again. Uh, oh, Kevin. We'll, we'll call him Kevin. Kevin Bacon. Little, little bakies. Um, the rest of you maybe uh, try to do a little research. Maybe you send Warwick off to do a little research to find out if there's a different apothecary or, uh, that would use this and less... More research, less uh, killing people means. And that brings us to uh, a week has passed. Billy Frog returns returns from the Wolfwood to the, the commune with, uh, with Kevin Bacon in tow. Did any of the rest of you have little stories that you wrote for that month off? Man. Mahogany, I know you love to, to write character backstories. You're definitely not listening to music right now. I mean, I'm always listening to music. <laughs> always. Hey, hey Bobbin. What, I mean, what does Boop do for a week? You already know what it is. She's Drugs. In the woods. Tripping uh, balls. Mushrooms. Okay. This one tastes different. <laughs> Garlic. Swinging through the trees. <laughs> I just cut down trees and went fishing. I forgot right. it was a week. I uh, wandered around. Ah, breathing in the air. Brother bite strong. Okay. Um let me pull this up. <laughs> you didn't write anything. Maybe you You're did right. the two hours that we were on Zoom while shopping. <laughs> I was too busy shopping. Yeah. Um no, Brother Bite Strong spends his time strengthening his bonds with the community. Uh the same thing he always does. He's he's a cleric, and he's going to behave like a cleric does. He encourages people to uh, to do the best for each other, because the world is out for itself. But we are out for each other. Mm. We work together to survive the coming storms. That's right. Cats so- are evil. Buy my new book. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe it's uh, maybe it's you, Brother Bite Strong, who's been more involved with what's happening around the community. You'll pick up three leads uh, for where you can sell this thing. One of them you already know, Warwick going to Lith. That's the one that you don't want to go with. Uh, you find out that Alep Feathersword, Ooh. that was the paladin. What? I just, I just remembered one thing that uh, Brother Bite Strong definitely needed to do, and that was create a, uh, a tincture to soak a, a cloth with to wrap the abys- abyssium chunk in so that no one in the community got sick and none of us got sick. Okay. Ooh. I'll I say that you uh, re- remembered to do that really important task uh, in <laughs> character. <laughs> yeah, because it's only been 41 days. Yeah. Uh, Alep Feathersword is a, a, a paladin of the Wandering Flame. She was the uh, the bird-like creature that, that was injured by the spiders that started off your whole last quest. Uh 
you have a few conversations with her. Maybe you check in on her to see how she's healing after everything. And she tells you that she is planning to continue her journey uh, to the to the Fang. She's but a healer herself, too, right? A paladin. And and the, the Wandering Flame is like a healing god that, that's kind of her focus? Or no? The Wandering Flame is the deity that Sondra became from our last campaign. Right. Yeah, I, uh, I knew that much. But uh, she was a healer type. Yeah. Focused on healing and stuff. So I'm sure she and I have many conversations about the healing arts and taking care of other people. Wax on, wax on. Yeah. Waxing philosophical about mm-hmm. our callings. But she mentions that her lady's calling her the thing and that she's been to the thing before. And that she does know of several apothecaries there, though their their uh, actual moral codes she's not super familiar with. Um and then it's uh Bavian Dar Leshfield, the elven drunken wizard. Uh, oh, man, he's got to come with us to the city. There's, he has. You have a conversation with him at some point where he mentions that there was a uh, it was an apothecary whose name I can't remember, but whose location I remember well. Um, the, if you head south towards Lith, but as soon as you break the woods, it's another day or so travel then east towards the ocean. They have a little hovel there. Uh, in my earlier years, when I was still not sauced all the time, I would make trips there fairly often for our chemical regents and study. But the name, the name escapes me currently. Ooh, we can go together. No, Bevivian. Baby, mm-hmm. Is it Bevivian or Dar? What, what do we call you? Uh, whatever eases out of your tongue better. Dar. Dar. Yeah, Dar is very simple. It's one syllable. Dar. How long ago? You said in your early days. I know this may be offensive to some, but would you mind telling me your current age? I forgot. Somewhere (laughs) somewhere north of 130. So this apothecary, uh, would they possibly still be there? Uh, Were they human? Were they short-lived or long-lived, racially speaking? They were gnome, I believe. Um, well, so it's possible they're still around. Yeah, they were pretty young in my early days, but 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 very advanced in their alchemical studies. Uh, they um, I don't know why the name escapes me, but it does. But I know where they live. I can give you directions. Hmm. Might you be willing to make the journey with us? If we were to go in that direction, <laughs> oh, my, I haven't journeyed outside of this commune in about several decades, I think. No pressure. I'm not trying to put any undue expectations upon you. I'm just merely curious. Uh, um. <laughs> Kind of looks around sheepishly and then looks over. This is at Saltwater. He looks over towards Saltwater and then back towards you. Goes, I do have a pretty outstanding tab here. If we were to yeah, just travel do. there and back, oh, four days worth, maybe 10 gold a day. Okay. Right then. Uh, don't, don't just agree to things. Uh, no. We need to have discussions about this. I thought we were discussing it. Uh, we, not as a group. We, we've <laughs> got to set us. Excuse us just a second. Uh, let's <laughs> let me confer with my uh, simple-minded friend. We'll be right back. Do we have to go around the house to talk about this? Yo, come oh. outside where I'm playing with kids. I think he can hear us. So it would be four days there, then back. So you're talking Eight eighty days. gold is what he's basically asking for. To be a guide to a gnome, who do we know? Do we know uh, any of the gnome? Like, give me a uh, knowledge local, whatever that is now, or I believe that's something society. more specific. I want to say that is society. Yeah, society, or you, I think, have wolfwood lore. That would be. I do have wolfwood lore. That falls under it. Yeah. Okay. Bam. It's the same role either way. So. Bam again. But the DC might be lower. 
Oh, that's good. Fair enough. Yeah, nice. A 24 on nice. your reward check. Um, there is a gnome apothecary. Uh, Justice Choppers has tried many times to get this apothecary to 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 move in closer, but the, there's they seem to be stuck in their location, not because they love it, but because they're studying something of the grounds where they live. Mm. Um, they're apothecary, and it, they might be excavating something there. Ooh. Uh, and their name is Cherrywood Sherlings. Ah, okay. Which was the name of the last episode. Oh, Cherrywood Chitlins. Cheerlings. Cheerlings. Cherrywood well, Cheerlings. It's pronounced Cherrywood Chitlins, but it's spelled Cherrywood Cheerlings. Yep. Mm. So Cherrywood is the, the, the gnome apothecary that uh, they mention. So if she's got a current task that she's doing... I'm just thinking about the gnome, like generalized lore of they go through the bleaching if they're stuck in one place for too long and not experiencing. Stuff. Is that Pathfinder lore? Yeah. yeah well, don't worry about it here. Okay. Fair enough. Um, they're pale white. <laughs> so uh, let's let's all step outside. You, me, garlic, and. Uh, and Boo Peter, let's step outside and have a conversation with uh, Billy Frog and his new friend, Kevin. <laughs> Is that what Kevin sounds like? <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> Billy, other play with <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I thought that was just the noise that Kevin made. It's like, oh, it's a laughing pig. <laughs> oh, He's what a that... rare specimen of the laughing pig. <laughs> He's not laughing with you. Is this a sound he makes? Oh. <laughs> As a as a species that also has a distinctive vocalization, uh, hyenas and their laughter. Oh yeah, it's always gonna be about about you, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to follow you outside. The wizard turns right and goes back in. The- <laughs> you guys know me. Of course, it's about me. I have to continually validate the magnificence that is I. Stow upon you. Look upon me. So yeah, group talk. You get the so, the, the, the sense that Warwick's going to lift regardless. Uh, he has to buy stuff for their their bar. He's got this gold. Uh, he's he's making a trip to lift. Uh, Alip, uh, not someone you've traveled with before. She's making a trip to um, the Fang, and then you have this third option, which is Cherry Wood. All these options, travel time, are going to be about the same. It'd be the, the closest one would be going to the Fang if you were in a hurry. You could probably get to the Fang in three days. Lith would take about five. This one take the this third option takes about four. So I've got. Uh, I want to go ahead and lay my thought process out here. Mm-hmm. Lith, I'm not super interested in because of the whole Gobba the Ghoul situation. Um, I've heard about before. Gobba. Yeah. Jober told us about Gaba. Yeah, sorry. And 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 the conspirator dragon that we rolled on to know that Gaba probably works for him. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was the joke you wrote in the storyline. Yeah, I wanted to say Gaba the Ghoul. That's why I can't remember if your characters do or if I just really wanted you, the players, to hear me say Gaba the Ghoul. <laughs> and the listeners. Uh, so that's an option, but it's not my favorite option. Uh, as for Daw's friend, Cherrywood... Um, that is another option, but it is not my personal favorite. I would very much love to go to the Fang with Alip because that is the seat of my religion's power. Mm-hmm. And it'd be like a pilgrimage for me. So I am biased in that direction. That does not mean that I am not willing to listen to other options. What do you think, Billy? <laughs> 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 We'll go wherever. We're having a good time. What do you think, Boop? Whatever's closer, whatever's fastest, let's get this done. I want to go to the alchemist. Well, the closest, fastest was the alchemist. Wasn't it? Yeah. The the apothecary? Yeah. Well, you said they were all basically... There was like a date different. Oh, it was four days to the apothecary, three, three to four days to the fang. So they're about the same. Yeah, it, it's all six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Not to push all in any one direction. If you go to the Fang, uh, you'll be you'll be traveling with Alep Feather Sword, the Paladin. Um, if you travel towards the Apothecary, 
cherry wood that's a very reputable smart like justice is trying to get that person to move here so it's a trustworthy person oh they're probably going to be the best person to sell it to for the means you want to sell it to where there's probably a way to find that same thing in the fang just don't you you wouldn't know you'd have to shop around let's get rid of this thing around. and if we shop, shop. go to the apothecary it will cost us 80 gold if you take wizard. the wizard with you i'm okay with that but he's not the only one that knows how to get there if justice chompers had approached this person before we might be able to get directions to her he gave you directions uh, he yeah, told they, you how to get there and then you asked him asked if he wanted to come with you oh that's right yeah for for money yeah, he said if you travel south, like you're going towards Lith, and as soon as you break the Wolfwood, then head east, following the wood line, and you'll find the apothecaries. Um, he can teach you new spells, their bite. Hmm. Probably and not. We- Our dedications are different. It's magic, though. Right, right. Adds up. We, uh, <laughs> it's, it's science. Uh, we could travel with a lip and um, we'll work for a little while until we can. Uh-huh. Well, we're going in the same direction. Not not Alip and Alip's going north to the Fang. Oh, Warwick's right. going right. south to Lith. So we could travel with Warwick for a little while, and mm. then when he splits off to Lith, we'll go south. To yeah, Warwick. east, east. Yeah, we'll escort him halfway. Plus, we'd be slowing down Feather fall she's flies she can get there in a day nope josh is just building <laughs> his own world <laughs> <laughs> i wish I th- if eventually a high enough level these people can fly but uh no it's, it's they've really restricted creatures being able to fly early in second edition which is she has wings and can't fly yeah she's <laughs> Uh, it's like having <laughs> shoes and not wear them. So technically, funny. she's she's she can take flight <clears throat> once per round. She can fly fifteen feet. She's got Man. jump boots like a chicken. She is like a chicken. Enter the chicken, like a like a peacock. All that flair <laughs> go nowhere. <laughs> Do we make a decision yet? Well, it seems like my you and I are at loggerheads here because I would like to go to the Fang, but mm. I have heard some good arguments about going to the Apothecary, considering how we know that she's not going to use it for nefarious means. Yeah, I prefer the Apothecary because, yes. uh, hello, no, no, <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> That'll do it. Well, because also we don't have a specific name for anybody in the Fang that we know yeah. we trust. And we can convince them to come join us. Yeah. It's a nice trading route, but maybe we can help them dig up. We've got shovels. Yeah, this thing is poison. Let's stop talking. Let's go. Well, it's currently under a protective coating. Uh, but yeah, so we've got two to my one to Billy Frog's Abstentia. So, yeah, we'll go to the apothecary. Let's go. Okay. Are you going to hire the wizard to go with you? Yes. I'll give him 80 gold. (laughs) I want to hear his stories. (laughs) I thought I put the price point a little too high for this, but okay. The wizard will come. (laughs) I mean, we don't need him, do we? No. I do. He's got stories and he drinks. Oh, okay then. Fucking <laughs> wizards. <laughs> now, Garlic, I just want to make sure you understand. Hiring someone is a lot like owning a pet. Mm. You are responsible for him. You're going to have to take him for walks. Once he gets <laughs> back out drunk, it's on <laughs> you to clean up after his messes. You understand? I hear you. <laughs> uh, who are you trading with? Me? He's giving you trying to gold. trade with uh, Bavarian. You had to give him give him his gold. Yeah, but Vivian, sorry, Dar. Dar is like a word that's kind of Celtic. It means yes. 
and no. And also, <laughs> the name of the Beastmaster. Wait. Oh, what a bad reference. It's a great reference. I love that fucking movie. That movie was terrible. Fuck every you. time that comes up, it is a is a strong reminder of Will. Oh, every so time. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I've never seen a man so infuriated <laughs> at a movie director slash... Did, you, did the rest of you guys know that The Beastmaster was originally a book? Uh, yeah. I, I think so. Have I you mean, read that book? No. No. Nobody I know besides Will has read that book. And apparently... It's not a fantasy like the movie. No, it's, it's a space. Sci-fi. It's a space fantasy. And yeah, he travels to the future, right? No, no, no that's Beastmaster too, and we won't get into that one because that is a terrible movie. Uh-huh. He, he is a member of a special ops unit in a space military, and he goes to primitive planets with his beast companions. That sounds uh, familiar now that you you mention it. Yeah, it sounded pretty. It sounded like a great book, but Will loved that book. Mm-hmm. And when the movie came out, Will was furious about that movie. And I met Will well into the 2000s. And that movie came out <laughs> in the 80s. In right? the 80s. And he still harvested some pretty strong emotions <laughs> about what they did to his beloved book. Will, <laughs> Will was a man who brought a 1911 45 caliber pistol with him everywhere he went. And I know that if the writer of that movie came in, he was going to shoot him dead. Damn. Mm -hmm. I respect a man. He's passion. Okay. So Garlic gives Dar 80 gold. Yep. A level two wizard. Uh, Now level three. I had to level him up because (laughs) I said any companions that come with y'all would be a level below. His uh, eyebrows granted, got taller. <laughs> all I did was uh, increase his uh, hit points uh, because I am not looking at spells. If I had known y'all were going to hire this guy, I thought at 80 gold, y'all were going to be like, go fuck yourself. I did too. <laughs> I said that. Yeah. I that. Three out of four of us. Come on. I was, I, was, I was 75% of the way there. Josh at 100 gold, would you have still recruited him? Yeah. No. All right. well, <laughs> that's your Money. friend. Money means nothing. No. <laughs> yeah. To a, no expense. You can't spend it in real life. Might as well spend it in He's a trucking wizard. It's going to be great. <laughs> so he takes your 80 gold and uses some of it to put a dent in his uh, local tab there at Saltwater's. Um, when he does that, Saltwater herself and her, her man, uh, Warwick, have uh, further discussions about what he can then buy at Lith, which will probably keep him in town a bit longer. So you guys might be traveling out of Wolfwood uh, with just um, Dar. Uh, so yeah, you guys the uh, next morning, I guess we're, we'll, we'll leave the Wolfwood or leave uh, the, the, the encampment and begin <laughs> heading south. Um, and away due to the we go you know, due to the nature of your encampment, there aren't any like heavy roads or trails to keep this place secret. Uh, so the going is not super fast. This is what it takes a couple of days just to get from where you're at to, to the edge of the Wolfwood. Do we have like a, uh, a secret game trail path that we as residents know? Yes. Nice. Ow. I like that. But they're, they're not used heavily. They're very sporadic. So nothing would look more than like a deer trail. I love that. That's very cool. We are we are a secret society in the woods. Yeah, pleasant bandits. Um, tight, tight, tight. Yeah. <laughs> so tight, tight. I need each of you to roll a d twenty. Straight up d twenty. Just, just give me a give me a slash roll d twenty. All right, Frakes, close, Billy Frog. You want one of us to roll for Dar, or you got him, or is he not? This is, this, yeah. All right, so uh, Frakes, roll a d4. Ooh. I don't have a macro for that. Slash. You have to type it in. Roll d4. All right, on the third day. Maybe. Uh, Billy Frog, roll a d4. Two. Okay. 
How interesting are Dar's stories? Oh, we'll get into it. Oh, okay. Nice. So the first day traveling <clears> through the Wolfwood, uh, pretty pretty common home territory for you guys. You notice that uh, Dar, not very adept at 130, 140 years old, uh, making a bit of noise, but he's also very, very talkative. Oh, and there was this one time, I don't remember their name, but um, she showed me what a lucky Lucifer was. Do you know what a lucky Lucifer is? <laughs> No. Is that That's anything like a like a lucky Pierre? Mm. Tell me what that is. Well, a lucky Pierre is usually uh <laughs> when you've got a woman in front of you and a man behind you and you've got to figure mm. whether you're going forward or backwards. Oh. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, a lucky Lucy is a lot like that. Both. Uh, what did I say? Lucky Satan? You lucky Lucifer. 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 Oh, no, not like that at all. This one <laughs> you, it inquires handstanding. Oh, I'm right out. So he tells a few drunken stories like that. Not a lot about wizardry or the arcane. You see, this seems like a dude who for maybe the last half of his life has spent in kind of a debaucherous state. Um, and uh, he may have at one point in time been a higher level wizard with great arcane power. But now, you know, he's level three. At, at 130, he's still kind of in his, like, late 40s, right? He said he was at least 130. Ah. He doesn't does seem a, to know. How does a wizard lose levels? Stupidity. Okay. Getting drunk. It's a way for you to have a, a character who should be a great and powerful wizard be level appropriate for the rest of the party. Okay. It's, yeah, you know. If you're a wizard and you're fuck hundreds of years old, you should be better than level three. Should be. This is his excuse. Practice. Yeah. He's it's, been it's, busy. It's not like riding a bike for a wizard. You, you, he's forgotten people's names. He's definitely forgotten how to chant some spells. <laughs> he's got arcane atrophy. Yeah. But the first day... Pretty nice stroll through the woods. Uh, not bad. You guys make it uh, to a nice campground or a camping spot maybe you've used before um, and sleep for the night. You set up watches. Um, what are some things maybe your characters do uh, for their downtime when they're getting ready to go to sleep? Well, Kevin Bacon and I are definitely playing fetch and juggling in the, the, the outskirts of the camp. Just frolicking. Yeah, build those emotions so that when he dies, it hits harder. I am trying. Yeah. I am trying so hard. He's, I'm teaching him tricks. You know, all the good stuff. He's, yeah. he's being a good little piggy. Truffles. There are moon. Find him. Garlic hunts for truffles? Okay. <laughs> you know we have a pig for that, right? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, truffles. Yeah. Mahogany, did you ask if there's a moon? Mm-hmm. Uh, Sure. All right, well, then uh, Boop's going to be hanging out in the top of a tree just to kind of be close to the moon. Okay. Any oh. any uh, before sleep rituals from Brother Bystrom? Well, I, I will be the one in charge of cooking. Uh, so I will be making dinner for everybody. And uh, just quietly appreciating the nature and uh, giving my appreciation to the fang for... Another beautiful, peaceful day. Uh, Dar uh, tends to just take it easy. He's got a flask that he drinks out of. Uh, he catch him muttering to himself just before everybody really passes out, like he's really tied one on there at the end. Um, I'll do first watch. It's first watch with garlic, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Those are the easiest. Second watch? I can do second watch. No one okay. else wants to. Third? Maybe boop because the moon would be at its highest, I guess. Oh. Okay. And then Billy Frog, you'll do fourth watch? Uh, yeah. Sure. No argument here. Okay. Just kind of remember those for future. Then we can just, we'll, we'll all know. 
Unless you want to change it for some reason. Uh, but uh, the night goes by pretty uneventful, and you begin the, the next day um, about the same. There's another another long walk through the Wolfwood, and, and towards the end of the day, you, you break the thick uh, canopied forest. Um, and it's been a while to be in like this much direct sunlight. And even though the town or the city, the mega city of Lith, is two to three days walk away, you can still see it outlined way, way, way off in the horizon across these vast grass plains. There's a few little farmsteads between you and that location, but they pale in comparison of the size of the city you can see off in the distance. Hmm. Um, but your uh, current destination would ride now towards the east, uh, just following the tree line um, to the east towards the... Um, if you were to keep going, eventually you would hit an ocean. But uh, Bye, according dwarf. to... Yeah. We're splitting ways here. You go that way. Oh, no, Warwick, yeah, Warwick didn't come with you. Oh. With their newfound uh, pay from, from Dar, they, they had to readjust some things on the list for sales. and They wanted another day to go. Okay. Alrighty. Let's keep going. Oh, as long as we don't get seen. We're not worried about anyone from the city coming up, are we? There's no I don't signs know. Is going. Back, background and, uh, no, I mean, there's the, the wolf wood gets traveled. Uh, that's where you normally get your income is <laughs> robbing people who take caravans from Lyft to the to the Fang and vice versa. Mm, that makes them. Kind of there may, hard. in fact, be bounties out for your heads. You guys have have been a part of banditry out there. No survivors. <laughs> You don't have any uh, immediate reason to think that, that people are after you right this second, no? Nah, I'm worried about it. All right, who's taking point? We're outside the woods. We're not safe anymore. Well, considering how Dar is coming along with us, and he knows the way better, we'll okay, just keep Dar. our eyes open and uh, follow his lead. Yeah, the trail here, another two days' walk. I actually, uh, I'm familiar with a little, if we head east here for a while, we can cut back into the wolf wood at the end of the day if we make the timing right. And that should be a nice little camp spot next to a calm lake or pond. Calm Very pond. Wise. Lakes are a lot bigger than what I'm talking about, but I've slept there many a time. Ooh, I was born by a lake. So Interesting maybe, uh, story. <laughs> well, garlic, then uh, perhaps your intuition was correct. Because with Dar here, we uh, we can find the good camping spots. Thank you, Dar. Garlic, your name contains a hyphen, Gar slash Lick. Am yes. I correct? Mm-hmm. You were born by a lake? Yes. Would the first part of your name have anything to do with those long-snouted aqu- aquatic creatures that can be found in lakes? Yes. Fascinating. Your people named you after something they saw when you were born, or does it have any uh, significance to your people? My parents told me this is the Gar Lake, and that's where I was born. It has lots of gars in it. Not really good for fishing, but it's a really nice place to swim. With all the gars, it's a good place to swim? Yes. They rub up against you sometimes, and it tickles. (laughs) You don't pet them, though. They don't like that. Mm, No. A difficult fish to clean and hard scales along their back, but with mm. dedication, there's some tasty meat in there. Mm. I'm sure your people are familiar. I think so. I haven't been there in a while. In fact, I haven't been back where it is, but I know there's a lake called Gar, and that's where I was born. <laughs> it's a very... I lost my train of thought. It's How okay. With the gold you're paying me, I'll help you find it. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. I know my parents said they built a rock shrine and they dedicated it to my birth. Yeah. Far from here? Um, hmm. Where's north? Back the way we came yesterday. Oh, well then, I don't know where it's at. 
Oh. <laughs> Where's North? It's that way. Oh. I don't know. The direction of North shattered his entire worldview. <laughs> I've been wrong my whole life. I know nothing. It's actually, it might just be right over there. I yeah, have holy no shit, idea. that's North? <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing with my life. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you guys laugh for the next eight hours at that conversation. <laughs> he, he's that's always to your left. You know, what if you turn? It's to the left. <laughs> that's east. Uh, and then uh, you actually make pretty good time. It's just midday, uh, so not even. Uh, you don't even need. It's, it's not early enough to rest when when um, Dar goes. Oh, actually, here. Maybe we could just do a luncheon by the lake. Anybody Ooh. down for a luncheon since we're making such good time? What's a luncheon? Well, it's where instead of eating this shitty trail mix while we continue to walk, we actually sit down and make a quick fire and eat a hot meal and, you know, Ooh. get back to it. I'm down for that. I'll get some firewood. <laughs> it has been a full day and a half since we've all bathed as well. We could take a dip in the pond. Well, good. Hmm. Wash up a little bit. Hope y'all are fine with the nudity of an old man. I've seen humans before. <laughs> Not like me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. He takes his robe off now. He's, he's an elf, actually. Yeah. Not a human. So, if you've uh, never seen a naked elf. Uh, well, no, feast your eyes. Uh, so, yeah, he, he, he if you are all in agreement, he starts leading you to, uh, into the woods. Um... And you find yourself by a, a, a nice, uh, a nice, a nice little little, little pod area. Uh, one, if we go to the map, would be very similar to the pond area you slept at <laughs> before when you uh, first started playing this game. Yeah, this looks familiar. Yeah. Wait, uh, there's a lady that comes out of that pond. We it's gotta not be the careful. Same, it's not, not the same pond. pond. Yeah, it's just the same map because. Oh. Uh, because yeah, reuse maps. This is a random encounter in the <laughs> woods map. Because we are going. I, I miss doing the random things. I built that last dungeon. I placed the stuff, and y'all fought it all out of order. Uh, <laughs> so, random. Let's let's. let's I, I did some random rolls while y'all were shopping because I was bored out of my mind otherwise. And uh, there were some fun ones that came up that uh, I, I won't get to use now. But um, one of them was a scarecrow, and I was like, "Ooh, fucking, that would have been perfect," you know, because Halloween's next week. That's uh, right for us to be like, "Yeah, have him fight a fucking scarecrow." But um, oh, no, so you guys are sitting around, you're having lunch, fishing, and then let's see what kind of noise this random monster will make as it as it comes uh, to interrupt your luncheon. There's a fun fact well, you about figure that out. Halloween. <clears throat> That the guy makes one point right three billion dollars in only six weeks, <laughs> in fifteen hundred locations, every year. Ah! Wow! I rolled a natural one on a D three hundred and thirty. Nice. Mm. And that is for a zombie flesh golem. Well, it wouldn't be a natural one. It's I, you know, it's one. It's between one and three hundred and thirty creatures that it could have been, and yeah. I rolled the one. <laughs> Oh, oh, that one seems. Ooh, that one seems really bad. You want to take a mulligan? Yeah, let's let's re-roll that. This creature is completely immune to magic. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, golems are nasty. Golems are real nasty. Uh... Children of God, you say? <laughs> it was magic. Yeah, just immune to magic. Period. Dude, those things are tough to fight. I think you can read because sometimes a golem, like if you hit it with uh, mm. frost, it doesn't do damage, but they'll slow down. I don't know how many of those rules transferred to this edition, but mm. I was just wondering if any of us actually do magic, though, outside of healing. Well, I, I do some divine. Is he smash naked? Him up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just didn't remember. You're still rolling low. Yeah, no, not doing that one either. Blue streak <laughs> burglar. He's painted blue and he's naked. Give me your gold. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like this. This random's a little slanted. 
it's it's every creature that is uh, this level. Oh, this one has artwork. I want to use this one. Okay. Also, it's a minotaur. I love minotaurs. It's a minotaur hunter. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm reaching for a stick. I'm like, oh, cool. Wait. Getting to the thick of it. So, yeah, this this thing comes in loud. Uh, From, let's say he's over here on this side. So, yeah, coming coming in kind of from the northwest of where you guys have your encampment. You hear it. And this this giant bull, not giant, but it's just large. I guess this is large. Large. It's, uh, yeah, technically large. Uh, bull-headed humanoid comes out. He's got a, a fucking um, great axe in each hand. He's dragging behind him battle scars on his chest and he's, he's out of breath and he looks at you and he goes more more and he just starts to charge you guys everybody wants to put you in the combat mode we'll roll initiative which is now good stall <laughs> <laughs> oh uh roll bow come on ah oh, damn it roll the four Billy Frog what'd you roll eight Okay, it didn't do it on the thing, but I could put it in. It came off. That was weird. It took forever to go through. Yeah. Like, you got an eight total? Yeah. No, you you just rolled a d20. You didn't roll your initiative. Right. Um, Oh, yeah, you need to roll initiative. (laughs) Hold on. Put you actually in the... I'll I'll just hit the re-roll initiative, if you don't mind. For you? Yeah, hold on. The last one says his Minotaur Hunter appeared. Uh, I can roll initiative through the uh, well. Yeah, go to the go to the battle thing and click the the d twenty or roll it on your character. Oh, there it is. Nice. Yeah, that's a lot better than eight. You tied with the Minotaur. Yay! Um, so, but the Minotaur still gets to go first. Uh, I feel like Foundry really likes the monsters going first because this other show I listen to, the monsters almost always get a really high initiative roll. Uh, what does this monster do? I don't know. I just looked at it. I hope it's fucking easy. It looks easy. He didn't have a lot of extra text. Speed. Okay. It does speed? That's terrifying. It does speed. Oh, no. I didn't realize that setting him up where the closest thing he could charge is the new wizard. Maybe Bavarian will die immediately. I'll get my 80 gold back. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, it's, well, it's already it's already given to the barkeep to pay his tab. Yeah. Ah, That's fuck. canon. Yeah. Damn it. He's got something else on him. Like a book. They always <laughs> well, have this books. thing has reach. <laughs> An elf wang. <laughs> and he's already naked because he's swimming. Actually, I can charge there. You'll both be... Nope, because I have to go through a tree. Yep. I can move once and then do the other thing. Uh, (laughs) The piglet. (laughs) Uh, Evens, it's... Oh, who's juggling? No, I was trying to read it. No. That, that's why I rolled a d20 and not the... Evens, he's got a powerful charge. The wizard. Odds, he's got a powerful charge. Um, the orc. Yes. Evens. All right. Bum, 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 bum. So he runs right up on the old man who's, who's drunkenly going, No, not me! <laughs> I get his flask. And... Uh, Need a target. Varian. And so powerful charge is the Minotaur strides twice that makes a horn strike. If you moved at least 20 feet from their starting position, the strike's damage is increased. Ooh. Oh, nice. All right. So it has to be a horn strike. Oh. <laughs> he critically hits the wizard with his powerful charge. Oh. That went from zero to 60 real fast. 
Just like his run speed. <laughs> Powerful charge is turned on. Oh, wait. Uh, I'll have to click two buttons for the powerful charge. Cool. And he does oh. 15 damage to the to the wizard there. Does the wizard's dead. The wizard's dead. No, <laughs> that was <laughs> over. That was over half the wizard's hit points. Ah, damn. So, yeah, that was a charge from, from the Minotaur. He's just through more, more. And he slams his, his hordes into the wizard as the wizard's like half getting up from y'all's, y'all's cute little luncheon. And he just gets battered with the with the hordes. He's lifted up off the ground and dropped back down to like his knees. It is now, oh, uh, it is now Billy Frog Thornton's go. Like, All right. God. Billy Frog um, targets. There we go. Mm-hmm. Cast gravity weapon. All right, that's two actions, right? Yeah. Uh, it says I don't have enough focus points. I'm sure I have it, right? Oh, you should have rested at some point. Yeah, yeah I thought I had full health. So yeah, we're gonna cast focus a uh, uh, gravity weapon. All right, I guess I guess it went through. All right? Yeah, there it goes. You have to drag the effect onto you. Oh. From here, the screen where I can do them both. <laughs> there you go. And I can draw and shoot in the same turn. So that's what I'll do next. Okay. Roll well, Billy. I don't... Oh. oh, not with a natural five. <clears throat> so, yeah, just uh, maybe because you're in the middle of getting up, you're getting up, you're drawing, you cast your spell, you're, you're just slightly off with your target shooting past Garlic and uh, Dar at this large Minotaur. Hmm. Boop. Boop is going to exploit vulnerability on... Oh, I have to click myself first for some reason. Uh, exploit vulnerability. Nice. nice. All right. And says none. He does not have any immunities, weaknesses, or resistance. He is just a big, beefy bull man. Uh, get it? Beefy? <laughs> mm-hmm. But I, uh, I didn't know I, I was punning until I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to take my personal <laughs> antithesis. <laughs> sarcastic fake laugh I've ever heard. I'm oh, sick it. of your puns. <laughs> Jesus. I'm oh, sorry. We watched <laughs> Mass no Singer bull? last night. There's no bull with her. Uh, oh, my God. Puns. Watch what? The Mass Singer. The Mass Singer last night. And oh. Robin Thicke's puns. Just I'm one sorry. too many puns. It's full. I mean, I enjoy watching it because of how s- stupid it it's is. It's, so it's, dumb. it's delightfully dumb, but sometimes they tell puns that make my fucking my chest hurt. <laughs> it's definitely uh, not because I just ate three pork chops and a bunch of macaroni and cheese. It's because of the puns I've heard on television. Mac and cheese. Get home. So, uh, but I still get a, I still get a successful. Um, yeah, you can still uh, exploit the. Uh, that's what, what's the other one? I took the personal antithesis. There it is. He hates but, red clothes. Um, I still <laughs> should also get a. Oh, like a knowledge. Give me some. Give me some something. I was. Successful. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a minotaur. Um, it's they don't they don't have anything specific as far as uh, immunities, weaknesses, and resistance goes. Um, uh. Pu- 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 you do know that uh, sometimes lone minotaurs tend to uh, tend to um, stick to like dungeons and caves and stuff, but in, in this setting, um, because you got the, the successful check, there's there's an island off the coast to the um, to the west. And it's it's just called they, they call it the Cannibal Islands. There's a tribe of centaurs there that are like barbarian roving tribes, and they tend to battle other centaurs. But there's there's also known orc camp encampments and uh, minotaur gangs. So it's it's basically if Mad Max was a fantasy world with centaurs, minotaurs, and orcs doing constant battle with each other to eat each other so they're they're they're, they're cannibal tribes 
Um, and because of the scarring and the way this guy talks, you you think maybe he might be an escapee from that island. Or maybe he came here on purpose. But he's got that kind of crazed look and the, the scarring and, and the, the way he's talking makes you think that he might be from that part of the world. And that <laughs> he might try and eat us? Mm-hmm. Possibly a cannibal minotaur, yes. Uh, all right, so I scream all of that as I uh, strike him with my sling. When they're sleeping, it's easy to tip them over. Ah. <laughs> uh-huh. Just have Wait, to put him I... to sleep. <laughs> do I have nice. everything? Well done. Clicked. Yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, you, you hit the Minotaur for with your sling for 10 damage. Well done. Uh, which turns into 14 damage because of your esoteric lore, but that's your full round? Um, no, uh, I'm also going to move back. Okay, you're going to jump into the water? Oh. No. Take my full 30 feet, back it up. All right, brother Vicerol. Uh-oh, key dokey. <clears throat> I'm torn. How about I'm torn? I'm all out of faith. You hear Warwick off in the distance. <laughs> this is how yeah, I feel. Like Alone and I'm afraid. Like, oh, he <laughs> finally made it. <laughs> Lie naked on the floor. Oh, shit. How drunk am I? I ended up here. <laughs> he told us that he wasn't coming this way. <laughs> I just don't like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. Uh, okay, let me target the Minotaur first. He has targeted. And I'm going to cast a spell. Put a spell on you. And oh, this is a new spell. Yes, this is a new spell. I will mutter <laughs> some divine words and bone shaker. This is a three action version. Ooh. Um, and uh, it needs to give me a uh, thingamajig. Uh, yeah, I have to give you a, a, a fortitude save. Fortitude save, which may not be the best for a minotaur. I can roll badly, or oh. I could get a success. Okay. Uh, so. The target takes half damage. If you cast the three action version, you can move the target up to five feet. It can yes. choose to fall prone to avoid moving. It so. will not choose to fall prone. Okay, so he is going to move. Well done. This is, a, this is a nice bit of damage. Uh, 38, 15. I'm taking half, though. Mm-hmm. Whoop. Okay. And please move him to the other side of the tree. I can move him, what, five, five feet? Five feet. Yeah. Uh, diagonal down so that the tree is between him and the wizard. He can't move on to the tree, though. Uh, uh, if you remember the map, all these stumps are actually full trees. Okay. Uh, they're well, just for the map. They've been cut so you can see your characters. All right, then, the, then five feet so that the tree is almost providing cover for Dar. Okay, so right there. No. That would put garlic out of its reach um, because this thing is large. Just a reminder, it has reach, uh, and it is now distance. garlic's go. Yes, I think. Yeah, because you did three action cast, right? Yes, yes, the three action cast. All right, Garlic, what you going to do? What you going to do against this giant minotaur? All right. Run. Run like a little run like a little scared a bitch. Bitch. <laughs> you, you, you caught yourself twice trying not to say it, and then it just fell out of your face anyway. It's just, there's not a better way to say it. I think I'm going to raise raise oh, my shield. Raise your shield? Huh? All scared yeah, with your helmet. With your helmet. I can still hit him if I do this, right? You raise your shields in action. You moved up. That's an action. So you can, you still have a strike. If I move here, I think I have a better chance of trying now, to Now, if you move like dark. that, he does. Hey, might be able to take an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. For okay, these okay, purposes, he does not. Oh, for the purposes? Yeah, not every creature can make attacks of opportunity. I got to remember it, that. You have learned that he's one of them. All right. And then I'm going to... Oh, go away. Rip up I cast blade. Stab you, bitch. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> uh, damage. Wait, is this throne? It has an arrow. Base damage. Did I throw it accidentally? What? 
Assist. No. No. You got the option to throw it. I don't want to. What? What are you using? Oh, the Heart Ripper Blade. Yeah, it's two. Uh, it's two D four plus four damage. But it uh, does look like you ran. Arrow. Oh, it. yeah. Take that back. Actually, sorry. You got to delete that. I delete think what? I. It has the arrow. So I. I was that just means to... piercing. Oh. oh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. My okay. bad. Yeah. And yeah. give if I hurt him, he's got to give me a. No, if you hurt if you hurt him, you have the intimidating strike, which makes him frightened. Yeah. Um and I have orc ferocity and also the mask. What's the mask do? Oh, let me look at my uh, inventory here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Demon mask. Um terrifying mask is crafted. And it the mask casts fear spell by DC of twenty. Oh, you'd have to cast the, the spell. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. But, but do you don't need you don't need to cast it because when you hit people, they become frightened. Yes. But that gives you a ranged option to make people frightened. I think, yeah. Ray shield, move, strike. That's it. That's all I got. That's three actions. Yeah, so you walk up, you strike him. He is frightened one, and he took seven damage. Slice! Going for your tendons, boy. But it's now Bavarian's go. Dar, come to me. Uh, he you, will. Immediately, he, he stands. Get behind. Well, he was already standing. I had everybody else standing, so he's already standing. Uh, he waiver wise was on a knee from that first hit. But he moves uh, to behind Brother Bite Strong here. As he does, you hear him begin uh, whispering uh, something. Some kind of arcane thingamabobber. Nope, that's the cone spell. Um, Magic missile. Uh, he does have magic <laughs> missile, but I'd rather wait until he has uh, three rounds or a full turn to cast it. Um, so what he'll do is cast spout. It's a can Oh no, he's got a staff. Fuck yeah. Uh <laughs> towards gonna he, he, he gets up behind you and he slams his, his staff down. The the end of it bright lights up and 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 you can even feel the heat off of it for just a split second. And then um he cast ignition. Whoa. It's the remix to Ignition. Fresh out the kitchen. Sorry, I apologize. Bull rolling that. You should. Because he's got his ass missing. Yeah. (laughs) Both of you. You Snap your fingers and point at the target, which begins to smolder. Make a spell attack roll. Snap your fingers, snap your fingers. He'll make his attack roll at the Minotaur. He turns around and starts muttering. The staff lights up. Rolls. How well does this drunk man do? Not well at all. Ooh. He missed completely. <laughs> that uh, natural six. Doesn't... Garlic, you, you feel a, 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 a small little cinder of fire go by your head and <laughs> pass the minotaur uh, misses by a good bit. But that's his go. It is now the minotaur's go. And the only person base to base with this minotaur is garlic. Yeah! Face me! Tank in the tank tank. You buy pedal. The uh, the minotaur shakes off the, the little bit of blood he, he got from stabbing the wizard. And he looks down at you and he just stretches both of his arms back with his axes and he comes down one, then the other, then he's then the other. He's gonna do three attacks on you. Oh, one oh, after the next, shit. after the next. First attack, natural eighteen for uh, oh. twenty. Th- ooh, the thirty-one. That's that's a critical, yeah. No, because of the top hat and the frightened, it is not. What is top hat? That's it's his. What shield. he named his shield. Oh. <laughs> but no, your AC is. Oh, your AC is twenty-four. Twenty-four right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. So yeah, that. That stacked up, so uh, no. I, I like hit. that we can see that. That's so cool. That was a mod that I had to download, but I love it. <laughs> Good mod. Yeah. Still, let's roll this damage. It's still uh, still can be pretty nasty. Not when you roll Ooh. a two for ten damage. Second attack, natural twenty. I feel it. Nope, natural four. That's a miss. Nice. A critical Ooh, miss. Sweep. Last attack. Miss you, Heifer. Has to be a nat 20. 
to beat your your high AC. 17 for a total of 20. Listen to me, computer. I needed the dice to be 20. So that it would hit. So, yeah. so out there, uh, the Minotaur slam, slam, slam. The first one, uh, Garlic kind of kind of takes the nick off of, but the shield pops around the next two, uh, knocking the axes out of the way. It's Billy Frog's go. Garlic's getting mauled out there. What do you do? Billy Frog runs. Away? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Next, Boop, what do you do? <laughs> right into the pod. Bloop. <laughs> and he just floats on a lily pad. <laughs> Let me know when you guys are good. <laughs> oh, move and almost shoot, shoot. Okay. You don't want to send your new animal companion up next to no. this ravaging minute? Okay. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a little gun shy on that right now. Okay. We're having bake. We're having, uh, sorry, beef tonight, baby. Yes! Oh. Good hit. That's a oh. hit, yeah. Humble hit. Uh, this is your first hit with your hunt prey, so make sure you turn on your extra damage. Yeah, precision, yeah. It's like it's all there. Wait, gravity weapon. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh. Not when you roll a natural one on that D6, but not yeah. bad. Still 10 damage to the Minotaur from the bow attack. Almost perfectly average. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah. Oh, oh miss. Then a critical miss with the next one. You kill That's Josh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Billy Frog scouts out to the side of the Minotaur to get a clear shot, lands one, misses with the other. It's <laughs> now Boops go. Oh, Boop. Sling uh, that sling. Unfortunately, Boop's got to move Shit. to be within the. Because what's the range penalty? Is it minus two or minus four? Uh, I cannot remember. Me neither. But either way, Google. I'm just gonna move because yep. that would be annoying to take. Uh, reload and minus four. Yeah, Oof. it was worth it to move. Oh wait, attack rolls beyond a weapon's range increment take a minus two penalty for each additional multiple of that increment. Eh, minus yeah. two might not have been so bad, but either way, I moved already. Yeah. Ah. Missed anyway. Yeah. That's my turn. Move, reload, strike. Oh, it looks like you're in the same spot. No, I was, mm, she, I was yeah, she, here. She moved uh, pretty far away. Whoa. Mm -hmm. But I actually want to be right here. Okay. Because <laughs> no, uh, then yeah. I actually can't shoot him. Yeah, because there's a tree there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, brother Maestro. First action, I will reach out with my staff of healing, and I will heal. Where's my cast? The power of Christ compels you, and then I hit the wizard in the face with my healing staff. <laughs> oh, I oh, all right. I go to here, and I will cast heal. Single action. Boop. To... Uh, low healing. He reached out and touched the wizard. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. And also, um, garlic is going to get, because of my communal healing feat, garlic will get um, yes. two hit points, I believe. They don't have to be close. You just to pick. Uh, you can divert some to heal yourself or another creature when you cast a healing spell to a, to heal a single creature. Choose another willing living creature within range of your heal to gain. Needs to be within within touch. Well, I'm casting through the staff. And yeah, but you did the one action, which is a range of touch. Well, that sucks. Okay, never mind. But when you do the when you do the burst, yeah, you know that would be really good. Or when you do the one that has thirty feet, you can heal one person at thirty feet and then somebody else at thirty feet. Yeah, it's it's going to come in handy. Just yeah. yeah quite yet. Like, if you had been hurt, you could have given yourself two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, that was my one action, and then for my two action, I will pull out a chunk of cold iron and shoot oh, them. Another new spell, huh? Yes. Cold iron needle darts. Ooh. Neat. And the best thing Cause about this, damage. I, I spent money to get cold iron and silver. Wow. Oh, nice. Because Josh frightened it with his attack, you hit. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Fear me. Silver so we could fight werewolves. Yeah. 
Or other oh, nice. Drinks. And I also have an adamantine chunk from somewhere. Roll your damage. Yeah. Nice. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that's 44? That's 44. Nice. All right. So the Minotaur shot up with a bunch of darts takes eight damage. So we can you use that chunk we're transporting and just shoot some darts at it? I could, actually. If I were to add the um, Abyssium chunk, I believe I could. But I didn't think about that until just now. Uh, so, so the whole point much. of you guys going to this apothecary was to use, <laughs> was to sell this to somebody for non-nefarious reasons. And the first thing Billy Frog says is, well, wait, you can use that poison rock to throw darts at people. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you just Wait. sell poison? <laughs> yeah. You could have put on darts. Uh, yeah, but Chris told me a long time ago it wasn't going to work. Well, the the darts are actually magic because the metal returns to me mm. after I cast this. So now that I've spent money on cold iron and silver, I just now have cold iron, silver, and adamantine darts. Oh, nice. I can't remember telling you. Sorry, I can't remember telling you they weren't going to work. I just, I think I told you how hard they were to get to work in first edition. And second edition, I don't know. I think I Googled it. Most people were like, eh, poisons, unless you really focus on it, are not great. Like, and also, how do you apply poison to specific weapons? And yeah, and you're already fucking with that animal companion, so I feel like I talked you out of poisons just so I didn't have to learn any more rules. <laughs> 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 that sounds about right. Hey, I appreciate you taking one for the team. Those poisons would have changed all of all of this for the better for y'all, but more work for me. Garlic, it's your go. All right. <laughs> have you uh, thought about sports commentary? Uh, Chickenfoot, this is sports to me. All right, Garlic coming in with a slow <laughs> swing on the Minotaur's calf there. <laughs> Chickenfoot. I want to let strike. Oh, <laughs> Oh, chicken foot Charlie. <laughs> I don't know why I think all sportscasters are from the fucking 40s. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, strike again. Oh, fuck. fuck yeah, natural one. Oh, Ouch. no. Oh, I'm crying. Critical <laughs> fumble deck with the melee mm. attack. Uh, oh, garlic, I'm I'm afraid your first swing, you slip on a little pond scum there next to your luncheon, and you fall prone. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Oh, that's get back bad. Up. Oh, that's not funny. I'll get back up, and I'll strike again. Yeah, yeah, so you got two more actions. Just stand up and do it again. Got it. Yep. <clears throat> Fuck. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Wrong well, one. You're not, you're not going to raise your shield? Uh, you, you should definitely just stand up and raise your shield. Yep. Raised. Damn it. <laughs> God. Why am I helping? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You've got some inflicted I missed, interest. I really do. I was very excited that anyways, fumble. but I like, did that see raise mark. I think that is the perfect balance of a GM. <laughs> You really want to kill us, but at the same time, you're still like, but remember, you yeah, I, I don't want to. I want, I want the dice to kill you, not, right. uh, oh, I forgot I should do this to kill you. Mm -hmm. There's a oh, difference. Well, well, you have to segment it. No, I look, life is full of choices and, and, and spectrums, and uh, I'm on one, you know? <laughs> you and me both, brother. I think we all Autisms. are a little bit. We grew up with. Uh, we were with Josh. Most of us were form formative years were in the 80s. I'm sure there was chemicals out there we weren't supposed to be around, and we were. Yep. I drink Tricky dates. Hose. Why do I have day. fake arguments with people in my head all day? That doesn't seem normal. Uh, oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> oh. take you know, the, the more I say that out loud, the more I hear other people go, no, that's, yeah, that's totally normal. That's how that, that happens. So. It, it is a sign of mental illness, though. Is yeah. it? Yeah, don't sell yourself short. Okay, cool. <laughs> yay! Yeah, it's normal. Yay. A lot of people are what? sick. Yeah. Add one to the win column. I got a mental illness. Uh, <laughs> what was happening? Garlic stood up Garlic. and raised the shield. 
No, no, I was arguing that that motherfucker from work in my head. Um, it's the wizards go. Uh, the wizard will Dar will now that he's healed <laughs> and safe. Er will use a three round force barrage. Yeah, barrage that force. Uh, I should have just followed up with your mom comment. God, wait, if it's three rounds. Increase the number of shards you shoot by one to a maximum of three shards for three actions. So I need to. Uh, 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 into the thick of it. Wait. Damn it. <clears throat> hmm. I, f- I forgot that we had this issue with um, Terrence doing it. Sorry. Oh, the heightening? It's not heightening. Uh, there's not a... Uh, whatever, I'll just roll the damage three times. Yeah, so five, six, seven, ten. Ten, ten force damage to the to the Minotaur from three missiles. Bam, 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 bam. But that's his full turn, and it is now the Minotaur's go. <sighs> He's still stuck there screaming more and more with garlic in front of him, but not to, not to be uh drag everything down, but wouldn't it be um oh never mind. Sorry. Didn't I misread? Yeah, he dragged it down and for nothing. For nothing. Absolutely mm, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think I should go attack Brother White Strong. Yeah. Uh, just the Minotaur heard that uh heard the gods weren't just dis- weren't just actively watching the scene but discussing something totally irrelevant and uh he wants to kill the, the most religious person in the group and he can see that that is a null <laughs> wearing a <laughs> oysters claret uh no the bull is crazed shit i just feel like he needs to keep attacking garlic bring it uh let garlic be the the tank he wants to be and, and give him this is i mean if something's going to swing at you at this level it's this minotaur um. Okay. Fuck. Do it. Natural twenty. Come on. Not not natural. Say. Gave me a twenty total again. <laughs> Every time I say natural twenty, it does that. Yeah, the machine spirit is hearing you. It's just misunderstanding you. Natural uh, twenty two. Give me a natural twenty two. Natural. Yeah. Na- not natural. A uh, for real twenty. Give me that for real twenty. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it is listening. Wow. Oh, uh, critical happened? hit on garlic. I'm using the axe, which is um slashing triple damage. The critical nice. hit is called disembowel. Oh. So ba, 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 critical. Actually, because it's triple damage, I'm going to roll regular damage and you will take it. The You'll hit the triple damage uh, option when it comes up. So, oh, oh God, yeah. Garlic. Oh, garlic. Garlic almost died. You're alive still? <laughs> you 42 one, damage? Oh, you got one point. hit points, you fuck. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, uh, one more attack. Come on, Foundry. Just give me that 20 one more time. No, give me that, do, give no me that don't 20. do it. Oh. oh. Give me 17. Foundry. That was a massive garlic. You take a massive hit. Like, it, it cuts through uh, your belly and your intestines fall out. Uh, you die. Uh, it says you disembowel. Die. That's it what that is. Disembowel, yeah. Oh, it, I didn't read the whole thing. Even if the character survives, say that they're dead. <laughs> just say it. You just no. say it. You can just say whatever. <laughs> Billy Frog. You just, see garlic die. Let's just swallow a little bit of vomit. No, he doesn't die. He took a vicious blow though. Oh yeah, uh, just, yeah back to my uh wait, what does spark blade do? That's I can short sword, right? Oh, uh, I could switch it to piercing, but it's got an arrow, like I thought that meant ranged. Alright, sorry. Yeah. Short bow roll. Yeah. Oh. Well done. Uh, 26 would be regular damage. You're not targeting the Minotaur. Yeah. Uh, should have my gravity weapon on. Okay. And it's your first attack of the round. 
Is it? Was that in there? Yep. Oh, Gravity yeah. weapon precision. Okay. Yeah. So an arrow pierces the uh, the Minotaur's uh, <clears throat> one of its arms, and like one its arm goes limp, and it drops one of its battle axes. Uh-oh. It's still standing. Arm still standing. Nice. That's a hit. That is just barely a hit because of the frightened condition. That's right. Look into my eyes. So your first hit uh, takes down one arm. It turns to look at the arrow and looks up and putting its face in the general vicinity where the last arrow hit. And then your second arrow takes it right in the forehead. The Minotaur drops the other axe and falls dead to the ground. Nice. Oh, oh yay. <laughs> I, was, I was a little nervous because it didn't say killed. Yeah, for some reason, I think it, it maybe it updated and it turned that mod mm-hmm. off again, but he's at zero hit points. Or, or Billy, oh, Frog, are you targeting him? Yeah, oh, you're targeting him. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He's at zero hit points. He should have died. He's he's yeah. dead. Yeah. He did. Hey, we did it. We did it. We did it. Um, I will... Yes, yes. I, I'm inside I, out. Oh. Hang on. Let me get to you, and I will go over to... Him and I will battle medicine. Hey, Billy, you want to skin this guy? I bet his hide is worth a lot of money. So you go up to the Minotaur and what now? Oh, skin him. Oh, (laughs) hang on. Just hold your horses. Let me get your guts back inside your body. I know I'm dying, but uh, I got got skinning to do. (laughs) I'm worth a lot of money. Oh, one more of those. I feel great. Well, yeah, I got you coming. And since that was successful, I can do it again right now. Not quite as good, but still successful. I think I can do one more for you, maybe. Let's see. I'm half. As a matter of fact, I could probably do this all day. Oh, I'm just two under. I'm fine. Oh, look at that. I have my belly button back. (laughs) Yeah. Is it a ninny or an Audi? Oh, it's definitely a ninny. That's how he's able to hook me and. Got I me mean, like a it, fish. It, it was an any. Now it's an outing because I wasn't going to stick my finger in there and stitch you back up. I just oh. pulled it out and stitched it up. I've had enough of someone else being inside of me. That blade hurt. Ooh. Who else? Lucky oh, Pierre. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Don. Let me look at you real quick. Let's see how you're. Uh, oh, you am still hurt too. Oh, snap. Mm, natural 20 on his healing. He'll be full as a button after that. Yep. All right. oh. Make sure that you clean those bandages daily. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, you're paying me to be here. Should you help keep me alive? Nobody heard that Minotaur coming sooner. No. Sorry, sorry. The Minotaur attack just sobered me up a little. He reaches in and starts... <laughs> Frantically drinking. I, 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 as your physician, I would recommend you wait until your stitches take a little better before you start thinning your blood out. Yeah. Just my advice. Well, appreciate it. It takes a little bit more. Not as big of a sip as he might have without you talking to him, but he still takes a sip. Garlic, you go to skin the, the animal? The yes. Minotaur? Um can we check him for valuables first? There it is. Uh, yes, there's two battle axes. They they are not well maintained, rusty, uh, overly used battle axes. Probably not worth the the weight to carry. However, on his uh, belt, where his uh, tastefully put loincloth is, so that the artist didn't have to draw monster junk, which we've talked about before back in the day. Um. It's my, one of my favorite things. That monster should be naked, but uh, I don't want to draw penises all day. Um, <laughs> there are channels for that. If you're looking for them, reach out to us. Frank's will let you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, yeah. I, I, am I wrong? I am very aware of where you can find that, but why? <laughs> Just because I know doesn't mean. Yeah, the internet, right? Right. So past the Minotaur's first sack, you find another one that's got treasure in it. <laughs> it's tucked up <laughs> underneath <laughs> behind the first sack. It's a tank bag. <laughs> you touch it first, garlic. 
because you got the kill, uh, Max, you get to. Uh, you never mind. To touch a sack. I was about to say you get to roll, but I don't know how to show you this to get you to roll it, so I'm just going to roll. Uh, actually, roll a d4 for me, Max. Three. Okay. So there's three pieces of treasure in this sack. What that does he? Too. What does he have on him? He has two treasures. So oh, Elias. Ooh. Oh, it's a shame. Um, we don't have a bard. Warwick didn't come with you because this is the splendid liar of world famous lyricist. Oh, dude, we're definitely giving that to him. He gone. I do not know what it does. Oh, it's just treasure. It's just worth. It's worth two hundred and fifty gold. Ooh, who's going to carry? That. Who's going to carry that? Uh, I will. Okay. Did Did you happen to purchase yourself a uh, a bag of a, a, a spacious satchel? I have a bag. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second one is uh, iron and rock crystal brazier. Uh. No, it's brazier. <laughs> hey, boo. Uh, Another this treasure. Worth, this treasure is worth 10 gold, but there's a pair of them. They're like so shiny coconuts. Gold. No, 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 no. 10 gold. Uh, I also give her that to garlic or just to carry the treasure. Sure. I'm fine with it. And then one more roll a gold and opal bracelet. Oh, that's pretty. That, well, actually, that's cool. We'll say that's his nose ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yoink. <laughs> uh, that is worth 250 gold. Yeah, that's a nice little haul from this dude. Yeah, we see why he was Let's running. Let's see. Uh, rollable tables. That was treasure. Now, the real question. Mm-hmm. Are minotaurs made of beef? They are now. Slices. <laughs> <laughs> this Breaks. Got- uh, for your healing, give me a D4 roll. Uh, slash roll. Okay, it also has somewhere on its person some random consumables. There are a lot of consumables. Nipple rain. Look at that. Oh, a sanitizing pen. Um, this is a consumable. You can uh, reaction use it, I think. Uh, you attempt a saving throw against a disease or poison. This pin includes a piece of gauze wrapped around a dried herbal poultice. When you activate the sanitizing pin, the poultice dissolves and bolsters your body's defense against poisons or disease. You gain a plus two status bonus on your fortitude save against the initial exposure to the affliction. If you roll a critical failure on the trigger and attempt, you just get a regular failure instead. Nice. Who wants that? I'm, I'm happy like to. Brother Bright Strong item. Yeah. I will use this on anyone who gets poisoned. Or... Well, you have to, it's a reaction. So, yeah, like, so you have to be holding it. When you have to take the save, you can use a, a reaction to activate this pin. It's better oh. for somebody who's. Yep. I agree. Gonna be Probably tanking. Yeah. Garlic, I think you might want to hang on to this. Or anybody yeah. who has the weakest fortitude save. Does anybody uh, have a. a... I'm at 10. So probably not me. What's your fortitude save, Franks? Uh, 10. Max? Don't know, but I'm pretty sure mine's higher than 10. It's underneath and, your initiative yeah. on your character sheet. Garlic would no. have to have a higher fourth than 10 then, huh? Fortitude's I won't go nine. Away. Or plus your, fortitude, nine. your fortitude's only plus 9? Yeah. Uh, you, you take that garlic uh, in case yeah. I can't get uh, to you to to give you a uh, first yeah. aid. All right. It's not higher than ten. It's a nine. Oh. Okay, Where's so yeah, zero. Give it to uh, give it to garlic then, since that seems to be. You, you, did you hear the description of that thing? Yeah, you use it for when you're afflicted with something. If you if you're saving against a disease or poison, you can activate it. It dissolves afterwards, but it'll it'll. Uh, give you a plus two and make it to where you can't critically fail. Oh, nice. Uh, you rolled a two earlier there, Frank. So the next consumable item that this guy has uh, is a candle of inflamed passions. Uh-oh. Ooh. This blood red candle is made from wax derived from oil shale found in certain parts of the plane of fire. The wick burns with a flame that flickers and dances even if there's no draft to stir it. 
You activate the candle by lighting it. Duh. Well, in which case, creatures within ten feet of the candle uh, to find their emotion, find their emotions running high. Creatures in this area take a minus one status penalty saving throws against the emotion effects. Once lit, the candle burns for ten minutes. If extinguished, it can't be relit. I will uh, keep that for the next time I get into a lucky Pierre situation. That's right. Oh, I've Ooh. used these candles before. <laughs> They're quite intense. Brothel, here I come. <laughs> well, because you know that female gnolls have larger. Never mind. Yes, they do. Anatomy <laughs> is <laughs> weird. It's just an experience. And then I think that's uh, that's all the loot this guy has. Kind of weird that he would have one of these passionate candles, but uh... oh no, he's a bull. It makes sense. Um, boop. Now that uh everything's calmed down. You can mention about the cannibal. He might be a cannibal, maybe go into a bit more detail. And between you and, and Dar, you realize that some of these scars that you see on his back aren't actually battle wounds. Uh, they seem to be markings, some type of tribal markings, which would then reconfirm your belief that this is uh, from the cannibal isles, the island of cannibal tribes. That's uh, pretty scary, them being so close. Yes, yeah, it's far. Uh, are the Cannibal Isles from here? What, what if the markings are actually a map? This is not Waterworld. This is not Waterworld, young man. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> what is Waterworld? Uh, it's a movie. The hell's a movie? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it, it, for, for me, it's been... I, I haven't heard of any of the cannibals making it into these lands in some time. Uh, they're normally too busy... Uh, brawling and fighting each other to even be bothered with sea travel. So this is this is a strange encounter indeed. But how how far are the Cannibal Isles from this area? It's depending on your method of travel. Assuming by boat. Mm, yes, or those new clockwork airships. The ones you saw at the very beginning of this campaign and, and made no remark of, so we decided that adventure hook would go nowhere. That's mm-hmm. not true. We did th- talk about it and how big they were and how much money we would need to rob from people in order to take a flight on one. I don't remember that. I was drunk. <laughs> you weren't here, dog. No. This was, uh, what's his name? The guy who died. Grunk. Grunk. Yes. Um... But no, anyway, uh, the yeah, by sea, it's it's several weeks travel. Kind of hard uh, to imagine a creature such as this being on one of those luxurious seeming airships. Yeah, the tribes they're not not necessarily known for their craftsmanship. Great warriors, terrible warriors, as you can see here for sure. But if one of them is here. I just hope there's not more. Oh, there could be more. Do we reckon that perhaps? There's a dungeon nearby that this thing may have crawled out of. Ooh, that is side quest. That is definitely a possibility. Yeah. Because the uh, the dungeons are opening up all in, over the Wolfwood. Perhaps they're opening up elsewhere as well. As if this were, uh, if this Minotaur wasn't marked as being from the Cannibal Isles, I would say that there's. Probably a hundred percent chance that there would be some sort of dungeon or labyrinth nearby. They, that's where they tend to, to be when on when they're solo. But this was definitely from a tribe. Uh, again, not known for for, for dungeon nearing. It's very confusing. Yes, they're, they're more nomadic on the isles. Yeah. Yes. Uh, depending on who of the three tribes currently has the upper hand towards the center of the the island, last. Anyone did any research there? It was definitely the centaurs were uh, the big open plains uh, dealt them the, the best advantage for their speed. Huh. So there's like three roving tribes on this island. There's a tribe of Mad Maxian centaurs, a tribe of Mad Maxian minotaurs, and a tribe of orcs. 40k orcs. Ah, I was like, why not Mad Max? <laughs> they're they're the 40k thing. orcs without cars. And guns. So just chop us. Riding on each other. Wait. It's an orc so on top of an orc. Do the Mad Max uh, minotaurs and centaurs have cars? Because that's what makes Mad Max Mad Max. Cars. Yes, it's Mad Max with a K. 
<laughs> the centaurs use um bicentennial bikes the is that the one with the big wheel up front the penny yes. farthings <laughs> penny farthings yes the centaurs on penny farthings uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only bike that would fit there in a large frame oh god when we take a break i'm gonna uh i'm gonna go fucking this is what ai art's for i need exactly a centaur right. on a penny farthing and i need ai to go penny farthing how old are you <laughs> How do you know what that's called? Gonna come up with a penny for me. You were on a Zoom meeting with a weirdo. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and, and, and also, speaking of weirdos, Josh, are you just sending me hyena female penis facts? No. I oh. sent you Z Franks and Casual Geographic, where they talk about animal facts and they do it in a humorous way. I'm very familiar with Z Frank. Z Frank's funny. That's how the octopus do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that was an inside joke between me and Josh. You guys weren't invited. (laughs) Yeah, appreciate you sharing that while we record this for for us to listen to later. I just got caught up in the friendship. I'm sorry. (laughs) Fuck your friendship. We're not hanging out to be friends. We're hanging out to roll dice and kill mystical creatures. (laughs) My friendship is based on exclusion. (laughs) (laughs) So if we light the candle now, it's going to get really fun. So that night, you guys light the candle, <laughs> and you have a, a freaky pool party. I don't know if I'm into that. Yeah, we are the now. candle lit, you are. <laughs> Candle's got a Cosby sweater. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to use this sanitizing pen right now. That's terrible. Let's, let's not go there. Um, I'm sorry. We're already there. Have you yeah, ever looked uh, up Cosby sweater on Urban Dictionary? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's it say? What's it's it say? better than you think it would be. Oh man! So the, the what, what do you guys what do you guys do for here? Are you going to explore the area to find this dungeon? Or are you going to continue on to the apothecary and just mark this on the map, maybe for for later exploration? I know we are a democracy, and and no way am I the leader of said democracy. But my strong, heartfelt suggestion is to move forward, get rid of this chunk, get it in the hands of someone who can do the best good. And yeah. we can explore for dungeoneering afterwards. I agree. Who can make maps? Or we just use this guy's body as a <laughs> as a landmark. I can hang him upside down. <laughs> you say who does maps? You see the wizard pulling a map out of his robe, and then you keep talking. He looks like you're funny. He just slowly slots <laughs> the map back in his pocket. <laughs> I should have asked for more yeah. money to come with these people. You, you use a marker like you used to have your uh birth monument yep <laughs> yeah. I lined his body with his intestines and put rocks up against it so he stays put okay and I want to skin him I'm taking his head <laughs> no I'll put it on a pike that's right I have a lot of sticks I'll put his head on a pike mm. I'm very him. concerned for you God that you ah. are displaying- this just feels natural I don't know why but it feels like I should do this so are, are we not eating mm-hmm. beef tonight? Oh, we are. His triceps and biceps will be great for steaks. Don't go for the ribs. They're lot, If they're broken, Making it's not going to work. Nervous. I think we'll get some ham hocks. His back mm-hmm. is huge. Bavaria. Hey, boot, they're the size of your fist. Oh, your body. Ah, the size of my fist. Yeah, Kevin Bacon runs away on that one. Bavarian leans it, into uh Bavarian leads into the knoll and the gnome. Uh speaking of uh, creatures from the cannibal isles, uh, his description earlier makes me think there might be a gar lake somewhere on the cannibal isles. <laughs> you might be right. Oh no. Hey Piggy, do you like wi- ribs? Ha! <laughs> Come here. Garlic, garlic. I'm going to stop you right there. I toss them some ribs. <laughs> They'll eat anything. They're pigs. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You're feeding. Mm-hmm. You're feeding mm-hmm. Kevin. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't eat Kevin. Look at him. He smiles at me and he hums. I'm humming. Mm-hmm. So what was supposed to be just a fun lunch and has turned into uh, a horrible scene. <laughs> Shit, straight up horror. <laughs> you guys all sleep a bit uneasy that night? Yeah, when I open, 
like and, a and you know baby. I, I I don't want to say this disparagingly, like but I'm pretty sure that any character Josh plays will be this. <laughs> Uh, no <laughs> well, someone who's played with Josh before this but uh, there was the, there was the, the the turtle people cannibalism in the last game I think that was my idea though yeah but true. Josh jumped on board pretty fast <laughs> <laughs> um you can use your shells as sleds oh here we are <laughs> here we are our minotaur safe to eat that's the question that Brother Bite Strong has. I mean, yeah, Hi. sure. Okay. Cook them. People are safe to eat. No, they're not. Yeah, they, they are. Can, no, they are not. There oh. is a there's a species barrier between people and non-people food. So if you eat people, if they had hepatitis, it doesn't matter how good you cook them, you now have hepatitis. Yeah, but, but this don't is we a all fantasy have hepatitis? world that I've invented, and I haven't done the. Oh, I thought you were talking like real life cannibalism. My apologies. There's an enzyme in humans. If you eat it, you can get sick. Yeah, It'll fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, because because we're full of plastic and fucking weird chemicals. I mean, yeah. what's our, I... when our species was first created, it didn't know that it needed to harvest ways for us to digest freeze-dried nerd clusters. You know, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we eat really weird shit. Yeah. There's yeah, a reason in a that, survival scenario, you can still I don't eat like, people. I don't like eating yeah. wild-caught catfish because it eats the mud at the bottom of a lake. We eat weirder shit than catfish eat. I'm yeah. sure yeah. people do not taste good. No. There's a reason that every shark attack is a single Long bite. Pig? Yeah, Ugh. Oh. The, the shark goes. Oh God, oh. you taste like gross. I wish I had a way to hurt you without using my taste buds. <laughs> Watch me vape. <laughs> I still think keep it safe from sharks. We taste bad, and they don't have hands. I don't know. Hopefully oh, people have died. Hands, man. There's a guy in Mexico that got attacked by a tiger shark, and he fought it off. It bit his right hand off, so he started punching it with his left, and it bit his left hand off. <laughs> so then he started kicking it with his feet. It was full after that. It was a sure <laughs> tiger shark, but he was extremely aggressive. And it just randomly attacked him out while he was swimming out in the beach. And he has stubs, poor mm -hmm. dude. But he's alive and he's smiling, have a good time. He gets to tell that story. I'm pretty sure people have to give him drinks. <laughs> you know, that's just the story he tells. Let's hope that's the case. Yeah. The cartel's taking his hands. <laughs> oh, there's some Oh, that's bad. How'd you lose your hands? I, I fought a shark. <laughs> all, right, all right, badass. <laughs> Sip on this. Oh, Tiburon. <laughs> Not I was skimming from yeah. very dangerous people. The yeah. shark was a person, Josh. No oh, Tiburon. <laughs> you don't fuck with him. What was, Jason was his name. He made a joke about that, and he got kicked out of Australia for it. Oh, I'm going to look that up. Yeah, you look that up. We'll play this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll play a little bit longer. The uh, down Saturday, man. Let's go. I'm sleepy. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also sweating. I get to a point where I GM where my brain is like, please stop using me. <laughs> and it's giving me all the signs of like, hey, just take a moment. That's um, usually when I start. No. No. So uh, the. Uh, uh, the Minotaur, horrible things. You guys wake up the next day, try to put it all behind you. Uh, you you're filled with new information. You put a mark on your, your map. Probably not the map that Garlic made, but the one that your wizard friend has now. The quote unquote map that Garlic yeah. made. Yeah. Shark Party by Anthony Jeslink. Jil Jil Anthony Jeslink. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Found it. I'm done. <laughs> I heard him do I was I was at his live stand up where he talked about that whole incident. It was pretty funny. Yes. Uh but it shouldn't have been, but it was. The next day, uh awkwardness. And then day I four. Well. You guys mm -hmm. were making good time so early. Uh day four, you guys make it to where you're going. The uh uh Cherrywood Chitlin's house. Our encampment, if you would. 
And I said in the Discord earlier that I hadn't done anything to plan for this for a month. That was a lie. Ooh, oh, no! Surprises. Because uh, you guys look at this this new map that I found. It's it's what? from it's from uh, a, a guy. It's it's a bunch of free maps and even a little campaign to play with it if you wanted to. But it's from a guy called uh, where is it from? Austin World, O S T E N W O L D. Uh, wow! If you download his stuff, and it's just loads of like dungeons and churches and like towns, and that's actually where the bar Saltwaters is came from. One of those maps, but uh, I took this map and it, it's been populated with some stuff, and I changed wow. the uh, the the site stuff up so that the, you can't see around the trees, so it'll make exploring this kind of cool. I hope, uh, but like off in the distance, you Josh and maybe boop all of you guys who am i missing up here uh the wizard and you right oh no, no you, you, your characters were on top of each other yeah yeah let me throw yeah. the wizard in there's a waterfall always check behind the waterfall uh, where do you see a waterfall no but i could hear one i did take a big blow back then my ears are kind of ringing where do you see a waterfall you I don't, don't. <laughs> You don't see a waterfall, Josh. Why are you lying? <laughs> I built this map. And I was like, there's not a waterfall on here. But yeah, uh, so you're following this path now. And uh, off to, uh, to the left of the map here, you can see the beginnings of uh, kind of a little mini settlement, like a like a like a big like a big two family home or one family home. Actually, I don't it's all through the woods there. Huh? Oh, I see it now. I could yeah. see it because definitely those shadows are. Yeah, I was like, but yeah, if you scroll away, some of you guys can see. I think it's yeah, just sliver of sliver of of an encampment over there. Um, but you also hear the noise and and loud banging and and destruction happening, and we'll find out what those noises are next time. Oh, break! Surprise! <laughs> I'm going to go eat a brownie. Brownie. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.